good morning and good morning. my name is Hasan Bilas Ramani and I am doing a brief presentation on my internship. I am a BC student, uh, bachelor in computer application. This is my final year uh, and I have been doing an uh, internship for the la for last three months. So I have been doing the internship in Sparks Foundation. It is uh, this is my offer letter. So let's start. Uh, so Sparks Foundation. It's a non-profit organization which was created to sell uh, students, uh, which was created for the students to hope for successful future. Uh, it's a new startup and was co-founded by the people who had mind uh, who had this thing in mind that every student should have a chance at greatness and do something in his life and achieve some greatness. Uh, so there were multiple programs uh, and one of those programs uh, in which I have been selected was uh, graduate, graduate rotational internship program, GRIP. Uh, so there is also a website. If you want to know more about Sparks Foundation, you can visit that website. There, there is a link given in the PPT. So they, they had three missions uh, to inspire students, help them innovate and let them integrate to build the next generation. So inspire, innovate, and integrate. Uh, to inspire means to inspire every student and to uh, to inspire a student to do their work and achieve something to uh, to get their goals and to do hard work was uh, this is this is inspiring inspiration. So uh, innovation to innovate is to uh, think differently and innovate something new in life and build something. To achieve greatness and to integrate to integrate everything uh, which we learn our skills into one and do something and integrate our work uh, pros and cons so the pros and cons the pros of this company are simple it's a super company for interns in the field of data science not only data science but also mobile applications because students gets to hone their skills and uh, develop their skills uh, in certain ways is by doing that task by doing uh, everything they gave us and completing it we build up our skills else it is a good opportunity for beginners for students uh, yes it's a very big uh, it's a pro because uh, most most students today don't get opportunity to show their skills or to uh, develop their skills in a practical way so it's a great opportunity to develop the skill a student has uh, it's a good opportunity to learn a new stack. It's always actually, mm, it's a great pro. Uh, it was a great learning experience. It is, it is a great learning experience. Good environment and work culture. Cons. Uh, so the cons are there was no stipend or and stipend, and, and it was an unpaid internship. So there was a lack of support. Uh, I couldn't. Uh, I, I had. I was not getting paid. I was doing an unpaid. So. There was no money coming in which I can survive. So, uh, in which I can, uh, with which I can do something. So that's uh, gone. Uh, it's an online internship. There are pros of online intern. Uh, pro, so it can also become a pro because you get you can comfortably do your work anywhere. But there is also a big con in that uh, that you don't get a real time industry experience where you go to work and learn something new physically and physically mean by seeing everyone so you don't get, get that experience uh, not much to learn only basic sense uh, roles and responsibilities uh, my roles were to mobile app development intern uh, my task was base, uh, to build a basic banking system so first i had to create a home page view all customers select and view one customer and trans uh, so that they the, i was i had a, i also had to complete uh, also had to make transfer of money between them uh, so the hardware i require uh, had to had required was android studio or any id which uses uh, which can use to create android, uh, android development uh, the language in which I, uh, I created this app is java and i have used database as my skill so web and mobile development tasks this is a task which was given to web developers this is basic they also had the same but they had to build web applications so same but in web application form but i had to create a basic banking app so 
this was for application i had to create 10 users uh, 10 user databases which you will get uh, which you will see after home screen in you can turn you, you, you also had to i also had to make uh, transfer uh, to show transfer of money between the users uh, and whenever the transfer uh, whenever the transfer will happen it will get into a log it will store as a log and you can see you have transferred money between people uh, so there was no login page or no custom creation on the transfer of money between multiple customers so this is an entity relationship diagram which I have created first you get a home screen then you go to customer view then you can select a particular customer and then after particular system you can uh, se select to transfer amount and if it's successful uh, it goes to cash and after uh, cash and then again you go to home screen and after home screen there is a log which you can see it, uh, there it will be seen if it's successful it will show a successful transfer and if fails it will go to cancel uh, cancel, it, cancel order and it will get cancelled and it will show unsuccessful or failed uh, project status uh, this is a screenshot of my project it's a home it's a basic home screen then again you can see all the customers then this is and you can enter the amount whichever amount you have to transfer to other person these are some basic user details of the customer and this is the transaction history which i was saying about if it's uh, if it is successful it will show success and if it is failed you have failed to transfer then it will also fail so to conclude i have to say that uh, it's a basic app, basic banking app which i which i created it's a very basic app so there was not much to show but it was great but it was other than that it was great i had learned something new something new and i have uh, developed my basic skill basic skills uh, very nicely nicely and to conclude this app this is uh, very easy to use. You, uh, anyone can use this app. There is no, uh, there is no different way to learn or like you can learn it easily. That's not tough part. References. These are some references which I took for this. And thank you.